Hey guys, yes, I'm here at one of the Phoenix churches that accepts migrants. Now, they were expecting 40 migrants today, but I've learned that that number will now be 150 after Customs and Border Protection did a street release today in Yuma. Monte Vista Baptist Church is a place for God and refuge. When they come, they haven't been able to take a shower for days, sometimes weeks. A place where Pastor Angel Campos and his congregation help migrants recently released by federal authorities, providing them with shelter, warm food, and new clothes. When they hear that they're going to be taking a shower, receiving uh, free new underwear, they, some, some of them start crying. This church expected to receive 150 people Friday night, a first since December 2018, after Customs and Border Protection released migrant families in what they call provisional releases, also known as street releases, following vetting and processing, and after nonprofits in Yuma and Tucson at full capacity. Somebody told us that from the office of the governor, they were requesting a special assistance because otherwise the people would go to the streets. And, and I'm glad they did. I'm glad they contacted us. As he gets ready for their arrival, Iglesia Cristiana El Buen Pastor in Mesa, which also shelters migrants harassed by a woman that didn't approve of their work Thursday. Estaba muy enojada, muy molesta. Pastor Hector Ramirez says the woman was mad and threatened volunteers and migrants. Siguió molestando, entonces yo llamé a la policía. He called police. But this incident, just one of many that churches have endured in the past. Pastor Ramirez's church harassed by armed people last year. <laughs> Meanwhile, migrants like Estefania Carolina, grateful for the help. <laughs> she was forced to leave Ecuador because of gang threats. Now is on her way to New York. Now, those 150 migrants are expected to arrive here at this church around 10 o'clock tonight. The pastor tells me that giving the last man a notification, he's going to have to spend the night here with them to make sure they are safe. We're live in Phoenix. Adriana Loya, 12 News.